Good afternoon, pet parents. Taser and I are here today to tell you a little bit about the really amazing class that I took this week in defensive handling, which is primarily for aggressive cases of dogs, but had some great ideas that the average person could use for their own pets. Um, Taser's modeling one of the things. Come here, Taser. Oh, the treat's in this hand. Good job. Um, a front class harness here, which is a huge benefit. Originally, harnesses were developed um, for sled dogs, and when they clip in the back, it gives the dog power to pull. But when they clip in the front here, if he'll move a little bit, whoop, then it turns the pet as they pull, so they're not able to get as much force behind their action. Another really great thing that Taser uses when he goes to work is a gentle leader, which goes around their muzzle. Here, bud, turn. Awesome. Then this way, it's attached to their face, which is not as strong as the rest of their body. Um, again, this is more a training tool rather than something to rely on for your dog. Um, but as long as you can use that to help gain control over them, it's a really great tool to have. Another wonderful thing that I use, thanks Taze, you're dismissed. Um, another great thing that I use in particular is a belt. Um, I sometimes use my treat belt and just attach my double-edged leash to it, or this is a belt that's specifically made for training, and it has nice clisp clasps here for you to attach the leash to. Um, that way, you're holding the dog at your center of gravity rather than up high, where the dog has more ability to pull you. Um, the last thing I learned, and I think this one's the most important, is a, a great way to hold the leash. It's called the leash lock hold. Um, so when you're holding the leash, you wrap it around your index finger and then pinch with your thumb. And you can put the loop end back up around your thumb if you'd like. But this way, you're looping it a little bit. The dog doesn't have as much run to pull you. And it's really hard for the dog to pull the leash through your hand. Um, people tend to love to do this thing where they wrap the leash around so that the dog can't get any extra room. But if they start running, they're going to take you with them. So this leash lock is a great way to really get a good grip on the leash without compromising your safety. Um, and to hold it, you'll want to keep it whoop, right here at your center of gravity again so that when the dog's pulling, your muscles are taut and they're not dragging you. As opposed to if your arm's out, they're going to just knock you right over. Um, so check out the blog. You can read over it. If you've got any questions, feel free to hit me up. But I thought that was some really great advice that you guys might want to know. Have a great day and happy training.